Hi there everyone, thanks for uh, clicking on the video. got two things to show off today. So these two things I picked up just the other day. Um, as many of you have probably come to know, two big things I'm a huge fan of are Evangelion and Star Trek. Now I've done a lot of Evangelion stuff, done very minimal Star Trek, but uh, so I picked these two up and I thought I'd show them off. So this isn't so much an unboxing, basically I did try to do an unboxing but these things were held down by so many cable ties and bits of sellotape and put tucked so tightly in the plastic, doing that would have been impossible within a sort of 10 minute time frame. So what we have is we have a Captain Picard figure and we have his nemesis, or one of his nemesis, the Borg drone. So we've got lots of accessories here which I'll show off as well. But we'll show off the two main figures. So, just quick points about these. I got these for about £25 each, uh, thereabout, in Forbidden Planet. Never really seen many Star Trek figures out and about. Uh, in the past ones I have seen haven't been great. And usually I'm focus on the original series. When I was a lot younger, I used to have a lot of Star Trek stuff. I used to have all, like, the main ships from Next Generation laid out. Used to have... You know, little figures of the characters used to have like the toys as well. I used to have a phaser, a tricord, a, a replica Enterprise, a little play suit. So here's Picard, the captain of the Enterprise D, the main character, and he's getting a new series soon. So you see there, he's really, really weird. It's the main thing I was noticed with a lot of these figures. I don't know if that's a, I suppose that's a sign of good quality. It's nicely painted. He does look like Patrick Stewart. He's got some good articulation. He's... Shoulders move, his arms move, sort of does that, sort of very click based, so he's sort of very deliberate, his hands turn all the way around, as uh, human hands tend to do, that one does the same, his legs move, now I won't move him too much, I'm very fearful of breaking these things on camera, but yes, that's Captain Picard, and we'll see the bog drawn. So the Borg were an enemy introduced to them by the omnipotent being Q. They were kind of a big nemesis of sort of Picard and Star Trek. They're sort of the big bogeyman. That's the final boss lurking in the background. He never truly defeated them. He just kind of they just kind of went away for a short amount of time. Of course, one of the big moments is the best of both worlds, where Picard is assimilated by the Borg and becomes the cutest. So here's the drone, a very just standard Borg drone. Let's see, he's sort of got his black outfit. See, obviously it's not cybernetics there. Yeah, they, were, they were a cybernetic race, travel around in giant cubes, assimilate entire worlds and cultures. They sort of use that culture's technology, integrate it into their own, and become better off for it in their pursuit of perfection. So he's got sort of, the sort of very similar articulation to Picard. So yeah, he, his arms sort of come out a little bit wider than Picard's do, it seems, and his legs... Again, he's very weighty, a very bulky kind of model. And I actually really do like him. You sort of see the detail on his face there. It's sort of that cybernetic zombie type look. So now we'll get into sort of the little accessories. Now, Picard only came with three extra things. The Borg drone came with quite a lot. I'm not going to fiddle about and try and replace them all, put them in each other's hands. I'll show them off what you get in the package. So sort of the first thing you kind of expect with Picard is a phaser so it's not too badly detailed um it is what it is it's a phaser i'm sure it's meant to have different coloration than this in the series but you know, it's such a small item i'm not going to complain about it really next thing is one of picard's big props is the Rosikian flute from the episode the inner light which is uh one of the you know best episodes of the show it's where we see Picard sort of living the life of another person in another culture in sort of the span of an episode. It's all the job of this um, probe, like the Enterprise encounters, and it, it's sort of a message to Picard and the others to remember this race, remember this person. And this is sort of the keepsake he gets from it, this Rosikian flute, that the person whose body inhabits throughout the entire thing, whose memories he lives... Um, plays this flu for like their kids and grandkids so you can see it's a 
Again, very nicely detailed, a very good prop, very fitting. And the final prop, the most important of all, is a replacement hand in which he is doing his... Can you see that? It's for him when he goes, engage. Or when he gives uh, Commander Riker a stern telling to. It's telling off for uh, climbing over the Enterprise's seats and sitting on the monitors awkwardly. Therefore, butt dialing for on torpedoes. So the Borg drone, we get quite a few things here. We'll go through some of the sort of, not dull, but least interesting, I guess. So we sort of get new armor plating. I guess you could say that it is. Yeah, sort of. I guess that was kind of fits around him like that. And just kind of, you know, if he gets shot, kind of makes him. Uh, Bit more impervious. Not that it matters because the Borg adapt to most technology. Don't want to get too nerdy here. Yeah, don't want to get too nerdy opening up Star Trek figures. Previous video, open up Evangelion figures. We've got a few other little props here, which I presume are just for the face. Or just, just Borg things. Just Borg things. hard to get it to focus because these are so small but there's various things and implements you see the Borg using throughout the show they, just, they look really they're really nicely detailed really cool it's really nice to see these Star Trek figures because I said in the past Star Trek figures I've never really been too impressed with them it's always been original series and I love Star Trek but I was I grew up with Next Generation I grew up with you know that, that era and as much as I've tried, and I do appreciate the original series, I've never been able to get into it. So, just seeing figures of Kirk and Spock, it's it's cool to see because I know all the original fans. You know, they they would love they love that. But for me, it's nice to see Next Generation done so well. So like looks like a shoulder pad. So then we got two more things here. We've got a replacement grabby arm. No real articulation on that. It, I thought that might have clicked in and out, but it doesn't. It's a bit of a shame. And we've got this one here. And there we go. That's another replacement arm. Now, I'm sure that's probably where these simulation tubes come from. For injecting people with all those lovely nanoprobes. And we have one more thing. We have... Scary head. No, no, no. No, no, no. And there we go. So, I'm really happy with them. Uh, incredibly happy. They're really nicely detailed, very solid models. Come with a good range of accessories. Um, like I said, I saw the Picard in another store for £30. I don't think I would have paid quite that much for him. I think about £20-£25 mark is pretty good. I think for £25 for the Borg drone, that's really good, considering all you get with him. Another quick note is with the um, Picard, you actually get a stand for him, which is going to make him very good for display. It's got a sort of like Star Trek logo on there. You unfortunately don't seem to get that for the Borg drone, I don't think. I just, I can't, yeah. So that's actually quite unfortunate. You don't get a little stand for the Borg drone, which is a shame. Um, and now, I imagine many people will probably get these and keep them in the box. I kind of don't believe in that. I think if you get figures like this, they should be proudly displayed or you know played with or whatever. You know, figures are for using and all that good stuff, not for sitting around in the box. It's a shame that this does not come with a stand. Uh, that's kind of disappointing, but it's still an overall very solid uh, figure. And sort of make them hold hands awkwardly, and the cards can just sort of flip them over. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video.